Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, thank you for the recognition. I'll be very quick, uh, Madam Chair. First, I'd like to thank Senator Dick Gordon for asking those questions with regard to putting up facilities in schools because we have recommended that. Uh, so thank you for that. And I was listening uh, in, uh, attentively to the questions and the answers uh, given, uh, Madam Chair. But let me let me ask, I'll, I'll take the opportunity to ask the uh, representative from Glode uh, very quickly. No? Do you have, what percent of your equipment would be Chinese equipment? Attorney, please unmute. Your Honor, sorry. Uh, good morning, uh, Senator Rector. Uh, yeah. About 80% of our equipment are Huawei. How many percent? Uh, about 80%, Your Honor. 80%, okay. Yeah. And then 20% uh, are non-Huawei. They are Ericsson and uh, Nokia, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, of the... Uh, of what is happening now globally between the U.S. and other Western allies as against the Chinese or Huawei in particular with regard to telecommunications equipment? Uh, yes, we are, uh, Your Honor. Okay. And uh, isn't it that uh, today this is ramping up? These issues are ramping up. Okay. That, that is correct, Your Honor. That's correct. Okay. Um, have you... Have you discussed among the board whether or not you should be continuously using Huawei or Chinese equipment? And are you, do you have any plan of uh, uh, using more Western equipment like Nokia, Ericsson, Motorola, so on and so forth? Uh, yes, Your Honor, because of these uh, developments coming in from the US and, uh, and Europe, uh, we're coming up with a strategy for uh, another network. Uh, which is based on uh, non-Chinese uh, telco equipment providers. Uh, this is especially true because our American or uh, other Western uh, corporate clients are doing the same, Your Honor. So we are uh, right now on the process of what we have already in place, but uh, we are expanding it, uh, an alternate uh, network, which we call that, Your Honor, to provide for, 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 for this. At any at any rate, Your Honor, uh, it is because that 5G right now, the most advanced is still Huawei, and their counterparts is about maybe our estimates of one and a half years away. So, but 5G is very uh, relevant to the Philippines because of it's an archipelago, and yes. we need to provide better uh, connectivity through wireless means. So, uh, that's where we are, and uh, we are uh, what do you call this in. Uh, in agreement with Huawei with respect to the provisioning of the equipment, uh, of their equipment on 5G. But just the same, Your Honor, we have already assured the U.S. government and the U.S. Embassy for that matter that network security is our concern. We are primarily responsible for network security and Huawei is just merely an, an, an equipment provider and uh, we are totally responsible for it. And we have, in fact, Israelis and American uh, uh, network advisors, your own, uh, network security advisors, for that matter, who keeps on auditing our network for 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 any lapses or leakages in terms of national security, uh, in terms of security, your honor. Okay. Um, uh, assuming you were to continue to use Huawei equipment, would you have problems with the U.S. government? Uh, we have. Uh, we're coming up with uh, with negotiations with Huawei. Uh, if there's a point that uh, it there will be totally uh, ban in the U.S. and uh, there will be some compensation and replacements of equipment for that matter, Your Honor. Okay, so this is a serious matter, isn't it? It is, Your Honor. It is. It is. Okay, and isn't it true that by October, uh, the U.S. or China China purchases fifty percent? No, no. China purchases all its electronic chips for its phones and for its equipment from U.S. companies. Is, isn't that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. And is it true that by October, uh, American companies would stop selling these electronic chips to Huawei? That's correct, Your Honor. So that's correct. Okay. Uh, and by doing so, the advantage of Huawei is then diminished. Uh, we were we were assured by Huawei, Your Honor, that, that they have a locally grown uh, microchip. Yeah. Uh, That's what they're doing right now, right? Yes. yes. 
So yeah. they, they assure us of their continued uh, equipment despite that uh, ban by the American government uh, for the American companies to, uh, to, to, to do uh, uh, contracts with, with Huawei and other okay. Chinese telcos. So as I promised, Madam Chair, I'll be very quick. And re I just took the opportunity to ask this question during the, de the deliberations today to better understand the situation today. No? Uh, you do have a trade war, you have a technology war as well going on no? between the, the U.S. and China. So I just wanted to, and where ourselves will be very important. So I just wanted to understand it and to see how our local telcos are adapting to this situation. So thank you for the opportunity, Madam Chair. Thank you, Attorney Castello. Thank you as well, uh, Senator Rector.